Well, hello. Good morning, everyone. Hope you guys are having a great day. Hopefully some people are tuning in. It is Monday. I was going to say Monday morning. It is 1255 in the afternoon. Happy February 1st. Um, so many of you said when I posted a while back, do you guys want to see a um, makeup tutorial of how I do my makeup every day for the show? And so many of you said yes. And so I thought, why not actually do it in real, real time instead of filming myself doing it in real time and then posting it for you guys and editing it and make it looking all like get it to look all beautiful. I was like, what am I, a YouTuber? No. So I'm just going to film myself getting ready this morning. And so this afternoon. Um, and so you guys can see how I really do it every single day for the show. So anyway, hi, hello, happy Monday. Um, hi, Katie. Oh my gosh. One of my friends from home. Um, hello, Chad. Hello, Lisa. Hello, Brenda. Thank you all so much for watching this morning. This is going to be really fun. So are we ready to get started? I'll try to get to some of your questions or if you have any comments as we're going. Um, but mainly I'm just going to do my makeup. Can I tell you guys a secret though, before we get started? I got so nervous right before I turned the camera on for this. I'm on television every single day and have been for years. And so I'm so comfortable with that. But for some reason coming on here, which is something I don't normally do and doing my makeup in front of people, which is something I normally only do in front of like my friends and stuff like that. So it feels a little weird and I feel a little self-conscious. Isn't that weird? I also get self-conscious when I host events, which really doesn't happen anymore in this age of COVID. But I always tell people that when they ask me to MC events, I'm like, yeah, but I'm going to need a glass of wine because I'm nervous. I just get, I don't know. I get really nervous. Anyway, so hang on one second. I got to have my water. I got to have it. Got to stay hydrated. Okay, so let's get started. So the first thing I always do, I come into work, I keep, I'd show you guys my setup here, but I'm afraid I won't get this camera set back up exactly how I wanted. Um, so my makeup section set up at work, I have this kind of like, my actual desk is over here, which is very messy and I've got to work on organization. It's just, I'm just busy, okay? I can't be bothered. Uh, but I have a whole separate like two shelf makeup station over here that has my two great loves, makeup and a Keurig. So I have the Keurig in my office. So if anybody wants coffee, they have to come in here and talk to me, which I've always got stuff to talk about. So I'm like, good, you're here, let's gossip. Um, so the first thing I do when I get in, I have a separate makeup bag at home that I have like duplicates of all my makeup I keep here because anybody that does TV or news, um, you have a lot of makeup. It's like a lot of makeup and hair products. And for me, it just got too annoying to lug my makeup bag and my hair stuff from home to work, from home to work every day. So I got in the habit of leaving my entire makeup kit at work every day. And I've gotten so dedicated to that and so used to it, I don't even bring it home with me on the weekends. I leave my entire makeup bag at work. That being said, I do have duplicates of a lot of my absolute favorite things at my house. And then I have different hair tools and stuff there too. So if I need to go somewhere and look presentable, I can do it. Okay, so the first thing I do when I get to work and I'm about to do my hair and makeup, which normally I do it in the morning, but it's Monday and we've been in meeting after meeting after meeting. Um, and so it is now one o'clock and I'm just now getting ready, but it's going to be good. Um, okay, so the first thing I do is I take my earrings out because I don't want to get makeup on them or I don't know. It's just a habit. I love these earrings, by the way. I got these for Derby like four or five years ago from Dillard's whenever I wore a pink dress. Maybe it was for Oaks. I don't know. So I take these out. You guys saw on the show last year, I got my second holes pierced. Um, usually I just have my diamonds or like these little huggies that I love. I got these off Amazon for like $13. I wear them all the time. They're amazing. I don't really bother to take those off. So the first thing I do, I do my hair before I do my makeup. Um, I actually, so I spray my entire head with hairspray. And then I brush it through. Oh, Gina, that would be fun. She said, you're so cute. Wish you would vlog a day in your life. I should. That would actually be really fun. But, um... Like I said, I'm not a YouTuber and I don't, so I would have to get like baby Seth. I was going to say baby Seth or Adam, but Adam's not with us anymore. Adam, we miss you already. Um, yeah, so we'll see about that. For now, let's just do this and see how it goes. So first things first, Chi straightener. I think I bought this crazy colored one because it was on sale one time at Ulta. I have had two Chi's in my life 
they're worth every penny, everybody. I know they're like a hundred bucks or whatever, but they are worth every dang penny. I have had this one probably 10 years. Use it almost every day. This thing heats up in like two seconds and it lasts forever. My other one, I had just the plain black one and one of the plates just after like another 10 years, it just fell out one day when I was doing my hair. I was like, well, this is great. Okay, so the first thing I do, I'm gonna have to look in the mirror over here. I have naturally wavy hair. It's not curly, it's just kind of like beachy waves, which I love, but I really can only do that look like off air. So last night I took a shower. Normally I'm a morning shower. So in the morning I'll shower, wash my hair, blah, 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 blow dry it and then come to work, fix it here. But last night I washed it and let it air dry. So it's a little more wavy than normal. I did brush it out so it looks really nice. So because of that, even after I blow dry my hair, I have to like go in here and straighten all around like my head because I'll have these weird like wavy kind of things. So the first thing I do is I just kind of go around the perimeter of my face and straighten all these little like, oh, hot, 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 hot on my ear. <laughs> I do that every day. I'll never learn. So, and I... I'm really careful to not, I don't straighten all the way down because I'm gonna curl this part and it would be counterintuitive. So I just straighten these little right around my face. And then sometimes I'll do it kind of up here too. So see, now it's just like smooth and you're gonna get that look that you want, that I want. Okay, so anyway, so we pre-tape a lot of stuff for the show but Mondays is kind of our office day. So we all kind of just get prepared for the week. So like I said, we've had a ton of meetings this morning with like our production staff and photographer. And then we talked to Allie, our social media coordinator, which hi Allie, she is on the ball. She's probably watching right now. Sorry, I haven't called you yet this morning. I'll talk to you in just a little bit. So we talk about all the stuff that we need her to post for us and just kind of things like that, keep up with the scheduling. So Monday, kind of like everybody is just getting ready for the week. That's all I do with my straightener literally just the front section. So after I've done that, I'm about to look so gorgeous because uh, I do this. So I split my hair into, how do I do this? And then I just kind of twist it up. Vogue. Um, <laughs> after I, I, I curl my hair in sections. Sometimes if I'm in a mad rush, I can curl it leave it down, curl it, blah, 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 which nine times out of 10, I'm, I'm always in a rush. Cause as you all know, I'm always running late, which is something I'm, I'm really, really, really trying to work on. But I've been saying that for a year. Can't do anything about it. I'm really working on it. Anybody else with anxiety struggle getting up on time in the morning? It's like, as soon as I wake up, I just feel like <gasps> everything is wrong, even though I know it's not. So Hi, Tina. Tina said, I feel like I'm sitting next to you again. Tina uh, was a news anchor with me at my first job in Bowling Green at WBKO. We were anchors together there, and she is so fantastic. Um, she does national television now. She is a bomb. Hi, Tina. We used to get ready together every single day. That was so much fun. Heather Burton. I'm so glad I'm not the only one who runs late. No, girl. I'm late everywhere. Vicki Robinson. I was wondering if you do your own makeup. Yes, girl. That is probably one of the most asked questions I get. Apparently, like when I got into news was in 2010, so not long after the recession, and apparently smaller markets, like mid-range markets, like Lexington is a mid-range market, used to have makeup artists, but not anymore. Here comes my makeup artist, actually. What's your name, little boy? Wrong. Okay. Everything's wrong. Okay. We're gonna have to wipe it off. Let me go get a rag and a hose. I'll be back. Gosh. Get out of here. What are you doing? Just wandering around? Yeah. Sir, what's your name? My name is Puddin' Tang. Puddin'. I'm so what are sorry. the comments saying? Everyone is saying he's a disaster. Get him out of here. They were saying, do I do my own makeup? And I was like, no. Yes, I do. I don't. Everyone in local news does it. Someone says, Lee. Oh, no. Gina Curry said, oh, no. Lee. Yeah, Gina. 
Gina, we need to talk to you. You comment a lot on our posts, and we love you. God, my hair looks so I do. Fire. I like Gina's attitude. But a lot of times, she, like, hates on you, but then she uh, also she's loves joking. you. joking. I know. I know humor. Gina's always joking, but because I, what I love about Gina, if somebody comes at me, then Gina goes after them. Oh, I know. Gina, <laughs> uh-huh. Gina's, like, our sibling. You know how you and your siblings can, like, scream cats and dogs at each other, but then the second somebody else is mean to them, you're like, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Shauna Lee, Shauna says, Lee is a hot mess. Chastity said, lock the door. I know, I really weren't wrong All I heard Shauna was hot. Okay. What are you doing? Hair Everyone? and makeup? Yeah, I just thought they can watch while I get ready. I do this every day anyway. Might as well let you guys look in and kill two birds with one stone. Um... No. On uh, my OnlyFans page, I'm doing my shower routine. You have not posted a single thing to your OnlyFans page. I can't page. get anybody to follow me. Because you haven't posted anything. You have to give people a reason. You have to. Yeah. Oh, sorry. Okay. Can I go back to talking? Mm -hmm. All right. See you later, pudding. Kane. What are you talking about? That's what you called your name. You said your name was. What's the next step? I feel like I, I right now I have like these little. Doesn't anyone else remember Xenon the Zequel, the Disney movie? That's what I feel like. Kirsten, no. what's her name? Storm? Something like that. Lee is a cool dude. Haley is getting all dolled up. Thank you, Chris. Lee also gets all dolled up. Our engine is running, by the way. What does that mean? We all know what that means. Oh. No, our engine is running out there. Why? I told you I was about to film this video. We're going to film one of our. We're going to go do some stuff. And we got to film one of our driving segments so they have a set up. I told you I was doing this. Yeah. He never films anything. Greg Bush, I saw you on here a second ago. You know what I'm talking about. You're one of Lee's best friends. The boy doesn't listen. Okay, so let me explain what I did real quick. So the way I curl my hair, I do this bottom layer. Then I just kind of take this top part. So basically I curl my hair in three layers. Okay. And then I pull this section around. I always brush it out before I curl it. Okay, so the way I curl it. So if you start your curl at the bottom and then just roll all the way up, you're not going to get much curl like up here. So what I... Oh! Lee comes in and ruins my life. Making my equipment mess up. Good God. Hang on a second. And we're back. It falls over again. So the way I curl is start at the top, kind of twist it around so you're getting curl right there at the top, then kind of lightly squeeze this and twist again and then squeeze and then twist again. So your hair is wrapped around the barrel like three times actually instead of going down and rolling back up. Thank you, Brandy. Hi, Brandy, miss you. Brandy is a fantastic uh, videographer. She used to work with me over, uh, over at 18. Uh, Brandy, I miss you. So again, same thing. I'm just gonna, I can slow it down again and show you guys how I do it again if you if you want me to, but I'm in a rush. And so <laughs> you should let Lee try to do your hair and makeup. Melody, we have done that before and I looked like a train wreck. So again, put it right there, twist it around, you're getting the curl right there. Down a little bit, curl back in, down a little bit, curl back in, and I leave like the ends out a little bit. Cool, okay, so now, oh, and I always start in the back forward. It's so much easier because then you know you've gotten everything. I split it down the back, pull it forward, and then. So there we go. This is about how fast I do curls. My friend Claire is always saying she wants me to teach her how to curl her hair. You know Claire, morning anchor. Um, because she swears she doesn't know how to do it. And so I need to, Claire, if you're out there, darling, it is time we teach you. Hello, Lee Cruz. Do, are y'all seeing this? It says, so, uh, Chris Hall, hello Chris, and Lee Cruz are watching. So Lee is sitting, I can literally see you, Lee. Lee is out in the parking lot in our Ford Explorer from Paul Miller Ford. They sponsor our Driving Me Crazy segments. We're about to film in there. I can see him out the window, yet he's watching me on this. What a creep. Am I right, guys? Am I right? Okay. And then after I curl, I 
spray that later. Cool. The best thing you can do when you're doing your curls, curl it, spray it, leave it alone. Let them cool. You got to let those suckers cool. Okay, top section, I do one curl on this side. Dun, dun, dun. Lee, honey, I told you that I had to do this. And yet you have put me in even more anxiety because you got the boys to put the cameras in the car. So now I know the car is getting heated up. Sorry, I'm trying to stay in frame. But I've got a mirror back here that I'm... Oh, oh. Got to put some WD-40 on this thing. Sounding a little squeaky. I'm beginning to think that wasn't Lee outside because I just realized it was a different Ford and I just saw Bridget go out to whoever's car that was, hand them something and they drove away. Maybe that was Bridget's dad. <laughs> Which means Lee is just sitting somewhere in this office watching and probably critiquing me to the staff. Noah! Mr. Curl right here. Deborah Miller, be nice. I'm trying, Deborah. Okay. Let's see, I've got a little weird. I love letting my hair air dry, but then I get these weird like bumps toward the, my scalp because it's the waves coming in. Uh, Tony Large, aimless waiting. Yeah. Okay. So there we go. Okay. So now that the hair is curled sprayed it, let it cool. Leave that sucker alone. By that sucker, I mean your head. Just like, don't. Okay, so now it is time to do my makeup, which if I have to do television makeup in like five minutes, I can. Like full face, I can do it. Where in the F is my highlighter? <sighs> Hang on. This is where I gotta keep my space clean. I can't find anything. You know what, we're gonna use this. Which my sister-in-law, hello Chandler, Chandler Harmon, she actually got me this for Christmas and I ordered myself a second one because I love it. It is awesome. It's by the brand Bor Borghese, Borghese, I don't know. It's like a highlighted primer. I don't think it's technically a primer, it's just like a highlighting liquid. I use it as primer. <laughs> don't say sucker, he'll set Lee off on blow pops again girl. Do you prefer a curling iron over a flat iron? Kendra, if you just tuned in, I use both. I do a straight uh, straightener around my face and then curling iron everywhere else. Okay. So I just kind of push the hair back and then here's what I do. Foundation brush. Love this. This is a Morphe. Oh, and Jaclyn Hill brush. I love a makeup tutorial. She's awesome. Okay. So the first thing I do, this is a brand new bottle, but I use the other one at home. Okay, so I go, whoop, whoop. So these highlighted primers, cause I like to look, I love a good glow. Always have, always will. So I put this sucker over my entire face. I'm gonna look kind of crazy, but yeah. So this is the first thing I do. This is a relatively new step for me. So I've always loved primers, but then I just kind of got away from them when I'd run out. I'd stop using them and I'd just go straight in for foundation. But I just got back into this because my mom was telling me she uses a similar product to this, but hers is by Marc Jacobs. Hi, mom, if you're watching. Uh, and I've used a sample of that, but for some reason it just didn't work well on my skin. So I've started, oh, look at this. What if I went outside like this? Um... Do I have a particular brand curling iron I recommend? The one I'm using is Conair Pro. I think I got this at Sally's, which I gotta turn it off. So anyway, so I used the Marc Jacobs one because my mom recommended it, but it just didn't work on my skin. But this, my sister-in-law got me for Christmas and I'm obsessed with it. So, okay, so you put it all over. Crazy looking. Now I'm gonna do foundation. Best kept secret, y'all. I used to use, so when I worked over at 18, one fantastic thing about 18, they paid for reporters and anchors makeup. They gave us a makeup allowance. So you couldn't just buy endless, but they gave you a budget and then you spent that on for like a, a year. Um, 
So I used all my makeup was from Sephora because, but because I used everything from Sephora because they have such high quality read expensive makeup. I would go through my budget. I think my budget was like 300 bucks. I would go through that in like maybe four months because the foundation I used forever and I still love it to this day. If I had it, I would still use it. It was Marc Jacobs actually remarkable. And I go in with the same brush. So I just put on liquid foundation and I'm putting it on. Um, it was like $55 for one bottle. So when I quit my job over at 18 for just, you know, you all know, just new adventures. I, um, stopped because they weren't paying for my makeup anymore. <laughs> I was like, you know what? I need to find a, cause I'm not making a steady income right now. I don't want to blow through my savings on makeup and I don't even need that full coverage anymore. I started looking for cheaper alternatives, like drugstore alternatives. Guys, I found so many amazing drugstore dupes that cost like this. I can't do math in my head. This is $5 a bottle. That other one was $55 a bottle. Any math heads out there? What percentage is that? I don't know, and I'm not going to take the time to look it up. Um, it's amazing. This is Wet n Wild Photo Focus. It had kind of gone viral this year. Like you, a lot of YouTubers were using it and saying how amazing it was. Well, then my friend Claire again actually said like, I've tried this. It's actually awesome. Everything they say about it is awesome. So I've used it. I use it in the color soft beige. It's awesome. It's not as full coverage as the Marc Jacobs remarkable one. And that was the name of it. I'm not just saying it was remarkable, although it was, um, but it goes on so smooth. It covers, it's like light to medium coverage. So if I'm like having kind of a breakouty period or, you know, just dehydrated, not looking great. I can put a couple coats on and feel complete. So there you go. So now I've got my foundation on. This is taking me a lot longer than it normally would because I'm talking so much. Okay, I'm using a concealer here. I love to do really, really light under the eyes. You know, you want to get brightness under here. I already have dark circles and then I'm just, it just looks really good on camera to have lightness under here. I'm not even going to tell you guys about this concealer because I don't really like it that much. I'm trying to use it up. I'm big on if I buy a product, I can't just throw it away. I either return it if I immediately don't like it, which you can return makeup. So FYI, if, I mean, obviously not after you've used everything. Beauty Blender, wet. This is actually Real Techniques. I get it at Walgreens. It's a dupe. Oh dear. Here's where she, here's where she does it in. Look at her. What, what are you doing? We're doing a Facebook Live. Lee, why are you doing a Facebook Live while I'm doing a Facebook Live? I'm doing a Facebook Live. It is a tutorial on how to wait on a woman. Lee, I, guys, this is the crap he does to me. And you wonder why we fight on air every day. Holy cow, you got a bigger audience than I do. Do I? Hello. I want my audience to see your audience. How many people do you have? Oh, we got like 49 until Noah took his shirt off. We had 50. <laughs> You're whipping us right now. Yeah. That's, that's like the, I think that, this is like the Matrix. Yeah, I don't like this. I'm sorry, that's, everybody. That's weird. Hi, Eileen. She says she loves us. Lee, why would you try to... You know what? You and I are on the same team, and we're trying to grow this business together. Why would you compete with me? I got bored. I told you I was doing this, so don't try to rush me and say, come out to the car, when you already knew. So, I pat that crap in. And then, um, and then that's it. So then, I used to use Laura Mercier setting powder. How do you feel about that? Larmer CA setting powder. Yes. I love Again, it. Again, something from Sephora that the old place paid for that obviously I can't afford if I actually wanted it, but I was just trying to be smart when I no longer had a steady income for a few months before we started this job. So I stopped getting all that fancy stuff. So now right. I can afford it again. I have a job, but I've just found so many cheap products that I love. I'm like, why go back? So this is a powder that I like to use. It's Maybelline. Fit Me Translucent 100. It says it's translucent. It's actually not. It's got some like kind of a white cast but I like it because again I like my under eyes to look you know I want it, it to cover a multitude of sins that's what my concealer does for me see you later Lee Susan Offit says hi Lee hi. get out of the way Lee so there you go so concealer and then Maybelline fit me loose powder shake okay I take the other end of the Beauty Blender, this weird, I'm calling it Beauty Blender, that's not the brand. Mine is Real Techniques. Okay, this is gonna look a little, it looks a little cray. 
So I just take it and do the whole rest of the face. None of y'all better defect and go over to Lee's Facebook Live because I'll be upset. <laughs> just kidding. He's probably being funnier, but I'm not here to be funny. Everyone knows I'm funnier than him anyway. No, he's a good one. Drives me nuts, but he's a good one. I always say our chemistry is our cross to bear. We hate each other, but we're so funny together. <laughs> we can't not work together. Okay, so this may seem counterintuitive because I just put on all that glowy stuff and now I'm putting on powder over it. It is not. It basically just kills off. What I'm doing here is making my foundation stay all day. But then in just a little bit, you'll see that glow from that primer start to shine through. I go up on my ears. Just FYI. That's another reason I take my earrings off. Okay, so at this point in the makeup, you want to look ghostly. You want to look like your one color. Look at this flat. And that's how you know <laughs> that you're at a good point. Okay, so the next thing I do is because I've just set my face, I kind of want to let it dry a little bit. So I move on to eyes. So for eyes, I do one of two things. I either use powders or lately I've gotten into these eyeshadow sticks by Julep, a brand I've never really used, but for some reason they're popular now and I got this off Amazon. It's like $15. It's a stick and it's cream to powder eyeshadow. So you just put it on, I blend it in with my finger, and you're done. Mark Cross, have you ever used something that you were allergic to? Probably, but if I was, I never used it again, so I don't know the name. Okay, so what I'm going to use today for shadow, I have this palette that I like, Tart Tartlet, but the one I'm going to use, it's Lancome. I got it, I think for Christmas, not this past year, but the year before for my mom in my stocking. My mom and I are both love beauty, so. Anyway, it's very pretty, it has blushes. I've actually never used the blushes, but I use the shadows. So the first thing I do is you like to get a little bit of a crease going. So I take this kind of nudie, looks like it's not gonna do anything, but it does. And you just go boop, 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 windshield wiper, and then swirl, swirl, swirl. And then I kind of bring it down on here as well, sorry. I would explain this a little better, but I am in a bit of a hurry. You guys know why, because Lee's impatient. Okay. Oh, sorry, I forgot I was on live. I was just reading comments and not talking to you all. So now that I've done that, cool. So you've got a little bit of crease. You just want that kind of dimension, which on TV, it looks really good to have dimension. It's kind of like, think of it like stage makeup. Um, you really, really want your face, to, your eyes to pop. Technically on TV, you're not supposed to wear super bright lipstick. I've been doing it a lot lately because I'm not in news anymore. And you guys aren't tuning in just for the facts. So on news, they really discourage bright lipstick. At least that's when I was taught how to do TV makeup. Because you don't, um, you don't want people to be focused on your makeup or your mouth. You want them to be focused on what you're saying. So more nude, more uniform makeup is what you want. So that's kind of what I've done forever. Lately, I've been wearing a lot of bright lipstick on TV because it makes me happy. And I know you guys aren't tuning in to only listen to headlines. You're tuning in because you want to hang out with us. And that's what our whole show is. Literally, you guys are just hanging out with us. So I would wear bright lipstick these days because I like it. It makes me happy. It makes me feel good. I think I finally figured out how to put it on appropriately. So there you go. Okay. Um, the next thing I do is I'm taking kind of like a goldish kind of shimmery. Like I said, I either do that one, oh, a fly just appeared as if from nowhere flew into my face and is now gone yet again. The aforementioned fly is nowhere. Anyway, let's just move on. Lee's office is directly behind this wall. And I can just hear him screaming. Can you guys hear him? Now I take a brown kind of crease color and go boop, boop, boop. And again, windshield wiper motions. Oh, that looks a little crazy. Don't worry, we'll blend it. Same thing here. It's awfully hard to do this in a camera and not in a mirror. Okay. Now I take that same brush 
that I pick up that nude again and then blend, blend, blend. You can never blend too much. I could spend all day blending. But again, I don't have the time. Okay, so the thing that I do right after I do all my shadow is then I take a little more of that translucent powder, put it on a brush and go whoop. And so any fallout that you had, any eyeshadow that came down here, goodbye. Okay. I do have this nail as well, and I'm going to put it down here. This will be incredibly helpful. Okay. Ooh, that actually looks pretty good. Um, now what? Oh, okay. I'm going to use one of the julep sticks. Here's what I do. This is dark brown. It is in the color of cocoa. Cream to powder eyeshadow. I use it as eyeliner. So what you do is, for on air, I put it in the waterline. For some reason, I feel like it makes me personally, my eyes really pop, like really like bam. So when you tune in, I want you to see my eyes. For me, eye makeup has always been the thing that I love. All my girlfriends from high school, I used to do all their makeup in mine. Eyes was the thing. Shadow, liner, everything. And then we, all we did was like gloss, a little bit of bronzer, good to go. So for on air, I put it in the waterline. But it's just not a good idea for me for all day because a lot of it, if you put it in the waterline throughout the day, it gets in the inner corner. It just kind of runs. It looks kind of crappy. So for day, I just go underneath and then right before we do the show, I pop it in the waterline. So here we go. You're not going to be able to see this and I'm sorry. I'll be right back. I just kind of, well, here, let me, I just, yeah. How's my forehead? Are you guys keeping a watch on it? Thanks. Do you need one more look? Okay, be right back. Okay, done. <laughs> then it has the, this like spongy end and I just go beep. You know what? How about this? Then you guys can see. And it just kind of pushes it into the skin and blurs the edge. Done. Okay. Now I'm going to do my face and then I'll come back and do my top liner and mascara. I don't like to put that on until I've got all my powder products on so it doesn't fall onto my face. So the bronzer I've been using, butter bronzer. Again, another drugstore dupe. I use Tarte and then recently for Christmas, I did get some Marc Jacobs bronzer, which I do really like. But again, trying to get through this. So I will kind of put the side of my brush in there because again, for TV, I like to have like a I want a cheekbone that looks like it's going to cut someone, okay? So I put it on the bottom of the brush and then kind of feel where your cheek is. And I do right back here and up. So you're just kind of starting like a cut. See how you can kind of see my face has definition now. Same thing on this side. And again, this might be a good point to say, I am not a professional makeup artist. This is just how I do my makeup. Okay. I put it under here. Got to get that cut jawline. And then you got to do the top of the forehead. Anywhere God's son would normally hit. Hi, Miss Patty. Oh, Patty from my hometown. She worked at my high school. Well, I went to a K through 12 school. She worked at my school. Her daughter was on my cheerleading squad. Miss Patty, so good to see you. I got powder in my nose. Not that kind, stop it. Okay, so then I go back obviously and I put more kind of up here and here. Pimples here, again, where God's sunshine would hit you if you were at the beach. I go kind of down my nose, kind of the sides. Sorry, I'm rushing. I could, oh God, I could explain it better later. And I will, now is not the time. Okay, I thought I had the time until Lee decided to rush me. I don't function well when I'm rushed. Blush, Milani, Luminoso. It's a dupe for NARS Orgasm. I used, <laughs> sorry, that's an inappropriate name, everyone. It's just the name of a makeup product. Let's all be mature about it. This is a dupe for that. It's like $8. That orgasm, it'll cost you. It's like 30. Okay, so normally I can go kind of hard in with blush because um, on TV, you need it to stand out. And for some reason, blush, it's like my face eats blush. It's like I'll put blush on and then I look like an hour later and I don't have any on. So I'm kind of going to go heavy here, but it will soak in throughout the day. Oh, life. 
So I kind of go all the way up here. Apples do not get in this region. Here, where you smile, and there. Don't dig too hard on your face though, because you'll wipe your foundation away. I do a little on my nose and a little right here, because if I was to get embarrassed, that's where I'd be pink. Why not just go ahead and highlight what God's given you when you get humiliated, which happens to me almost every day, because that's what I signed on for. <clears throat> okay, highlighter. Thank God. Wet and Wild. Again, this is called Precious Petals. It's like a pinky gold. Um, yeah. You guys are all being so sweet. Um, okay. So anyway, another Jaclyn Hill brush. I just kind of rub it in there on the side of the brush. And then right where the top of your cheekbone is, where the sunshine would hit. And then I do brow bone as well, a little bit above here, like right above kind of where your forehead bone is. I do a little bit right here on this section of my nose and then a little trick across the top of your top lip makes your lip look bigger. Which, I really like my lips. Is that weird to say? I think I have pretty lips. Thank you, Dad. My mom, it's so funny the traits you get from your parents. My mom is always like, oh, can't believe you got your dad lip, your dad's lips. My dad also has freakishly long eyelashes. My dad would be a beautiful woman. Okay, so then, this is a trick I learned and I do it every single day. So you put your highlighter on. I can't stand when I'll put my highlighter on and then I can see it later and it looks like a freaking stripe. No. No, blend it in. Still my wet beauty sponge, after you put your highlighter on, take the end that doesn't really have any product on it and just push. It pushes the product into the skin, blends those lines, and it puts a little moisture in there. So it just makes it look like it's part of your skin as opposed to a line where, well, you put it on. Does that make sense? Kind of everywhere. Okay, done. We're getting there. You're starting to see her. You're starting to see Hales. Okay, so the next thing that I do after that, I've got all my powder products on. So now I'm gonna go back in with my liquid products. Liquid liner, mascara. What do I do first? Brush my lashes out. I don't do anything to my eyelashes. Eyelashes, these aren't my lashes, these are my brows. Are you guys, what's wrong with her? Um, I brush my brows out. I don't do anything to them because I actually had my brows microbladed which if you don't know what that is, it's like a semi-permanent tattoo. So my brow hairs are still there, but the reason they look so dark and look like they're already done is because they're basically tattooed on. Because I hate doing my brows. Best beauty purchase I have ever made. They've been, they still look perfect two years later and I never have to do anything with them. I went to Nicole at Highbrow Artistry. It's out at Lexington Green. She's so awesome. Highly recommend her. So whenever I have to have it touched up in a few years, I'll holler at her. Okay, so, oh, and then I also actually do brush out my lashes. Are you wearing Draper James today? Um, I am not. This is actually, I love Draper James, and I have started such a fun partnership with them, and they are hooking me up with some gorgeous stuff from their new seasons, and then I'm sharing it with you all. I love everything at Draper James, plus they have awesome sales, so it's accessible to us all. <laughs> okay, now what? I do this, do you guys ever do that in the middle of your makeup? You just stare at your stuff. I'm like, have I not done this before? I've done it like 300 million times. Ugh, I've got to cover this up. I had a little baby breakout this week and it's really wanting to show out and just kind of like steal the show. <laughs> it's not happening. Okay, whoop. Sometimes I'll take that, what I'm doing here, sometimes I'll take that translucent powder again and go right under here. Cause again, I want to look like a newborn baby under here. Okay. So now, I curl my lashes before I put my liquid eyeliner on. You gotta hold it for like 10 seconds. Everybody just, let's meditate. By the way, yes, I've seen some people asking where this shirt's from. This shirt is actually from J. Crew. I love it, it's a really fun blouse. It's got this little like puff sleeve, the ruffle here, and then a little like button there. Okay, so now I've curled the lashes. Now it is time for the best part, liquid eyeliner. I used to use Tarte liquid eyeliner, again, from Sephora. Found this, love it even more. It's Maybelline Master Precise All Day Liquid Liner in black. I accidentally bought matte black in this one and I don't like it as well. It's kind of hard to get off. But, um, 
Uh, I can hear Lee laughing in there. I think he's a psychopath. I think there's no one else in there with him. I think he's just laughing. Okay, so I'm gonna try to show you this because some of you all last week said, show me how to do liquid liner. I'll show you how I do it. And I think it's the easiest way. You gotta get you a felt tip liner where it just looks like just perfect. And then I keep mine stored in a cup like this. So the product is constantly running into the felt part. So it's always saturated <laughs> and ready to go. Um, thank you, Jill. Okay, so here we go. Here's what I do. The easiest way for me to explain this, and I have just figured this out over time. Everybody does their liquid liner different, but get a felt tip, store it in a cup so the liquid's always in there. And then I, all I do is, I want you guys to be able to see this. Let's see, let me scooch closer. Okay. I, basically the way I do it, you just, okay. I just got very nervous to do this because I don't, I want to look cool in front of you guys and I don't want to mess up and I'm afraid because you're watching me, I'm going to mess up. <laughs> so let's just all whew, just like take a moment. <sighs> all right, I'm ready. Are y'all ready? The easiest thing to do is I, um, let's see. I feel like I have, okay. I have like powder in my nose. And again, it's just loose powder. It's not, you know, um, the easiest thing to do, see where your waterline, kind of the inside of your eye, you kind of want to follow its direction. That's where I found is the most flattering. So I kind of line my liner up with where my waterline is going up. And then I just go whoop and draw like a little line. There she is. Then this is where the magic happens. You take the felt tip, you just lay it on its side, not just the tip, but the whole side, and then you just drag the whole thing in. So I'm just gonna do it. Here we go. Okay, so I've drawn this line. Okay, now, oh gosh, okay. Lay her on her side and whip it in. We did it. <laughs> I got so nervous. Okay, so obviously it's not done. So now I take it and I go like this and then just kind of real lightly go in. You don't go all the way in. You stop like, I don't know, a little bit out. And then I just kind of dig it down into the lashes. Never, ever, ever should you see light skin or shadow between your eyeliner. I just kind of go back in and get right down in the roots. But like, look at that wing, y'all. You can get it so easily by just laying it down and go whop. Okay, so now I'm just kind of going back in and thickening it a little. Okay, done. Okay, let's do the same thing on this side. My hand is literally shaking. This is so stupid. Why am I so nervous? You've met me all before. Done. Whip it. Okay, now in on its side. Push it into the lashes. You guys are all being so sweet, thank you. I did just get so nervous, I don't know why. That's so stupid. <laughs> okay. Okay. Done, as good as it's gonna get. Lined, lined, ooh, it looks good. Now it is time for mascara. L'Oreal, voluminous. It's a classic for a reason. Um, I always like to do this in a compact. Okay, the way I do my mascara, top first, but you go up and then you go on top of the lashes and pull down. You wanna get mascara on the back of the lashes. That's how you get the most like dark black lashes that pop. You don't know, because sometimes you run the risk of showing like um, eyeshadow. Like if eyeshadow falls down or if it was already on there before you did your mascara, if you're just doing the front of your lashes, you're still going to have that on there. And, um, yeah, no, just don't. If I had to give an estimate on how many coats of mascara I do, I don't know, like 45? <laughs> no, if you're just doing one coat of mascara, you're, why are you even here? I've never understood that women that can just do, or guys, whoever could just do one coat of mascara. I'm like, but she doesn't do anything. You have to do multiple. Someone's trying to come into my office. 
I'll give you guys one guess as to who it is. Hi. What's up? I put on my jacket. Lee, I'm not going to feel bad for your lack of time management when I told you that I was doing this. Just because you didn't listen to me and you went ahead and moved on to our next thing. That's on you. Again, how is my forehead? You guys keeping a watch on it? Thank you. Okay, mascara's done. Oh, yeah, I just got to put on lipstick and we're out the door. Clear, brow gel. Any questions, Lee? Yeah. What about sheetrock? And then sometimes it can be globby and I just brush her out. Okay. This doesn't look as good as I want it to, but it's because I'm in a rush and trying to talk to you guys at the same time. Oh, am I? Is this a rush? This is a rush. Yes. Okay, last thing. Now it's time to do lips. I always keep a wet paper towel here from when I did my beauty blender. So now. What does a uh, lazy day look like putting on makeup if this is a rush? I had to talk a lot, you jerk. Plus, you plan something without checking with me first. Okay. So now I'm going to do lip liner. Best lip liner in the entire world. Best kept secret. I really don't ever tell people about this because I kind of don't want my secret to be out there, but I'll tell you all. It's Jordana Easy Liner in the shade Rock and Rose. They used to sell this at Walgreens. It's like $2. They don't sell it there anymore. You can only buy it online. It's the best nude lip liner. So I always start at the bottom. Yeah, Lee. I'm just gonna. I could do this in my sleep. Look at that. Looks good. And then Cupid's bow. Hold, please. I can't talk while I'm doing this. You mean Phil? Yeah, can you I'll, get, I'll, I'll, I'll be your thoughts. So I just follow the natural lip line. What you got to do is follow the natural lip line. Now that's going to be that's going to uh, be a variant for everybody else. And then I kind of fill in a little bit with the liner. Yeah. Make sure your lipstick stay better. Okay. Then, nope, don't want that color. Now we got to put the clown nose on. <laughs> and then I put this is that's not the one I want either. Here it is. Here it is. This is Lancome Love It is the shade. It's like a perfect pinky nude. This is my favorite lipstick. Mm. And then... Lan Lancome's good. Mm-hmm. And then you just fill her in. You ever use that white rain hairspray? Boy, that's great. <sighs> that's what I use. White rain. Ask for it by name. Nude. Okay. And then my... And your big love. Would you shut up? <laughs> people. People, people, people. Where's my gloss? I'm sure Lee's taking it. Okay. And then I can't finish my makeup without lip gloss. So this is like, what is this? Buxom? This is from Sephora. Buxom. Done. Okay. The last thing, so I'm done. So my hair and makeup's done, except, so now that my hair is cooled, I'll kind of run my finger through it and then I'll actually brush through it. My hair holds curl really well, so some people can't do this. As some of you know, I she'll can. run her hair through it all day long. Run my hair through it? She'll run, she'll run her hand through it. Good joke. You all nailed day, it. All day long. You're a professional comedian. So before the show, I'll come back and I'll tease it here just to get a little lift. But for now, I'm just going to leave it here. And then in about 20 minutes, I come back. This is the secret to get eyes that look like they're wide open. You come back 15 minutes later when your mascara has dried and you curl your lashes again. That, so the last things I have to do before the show, curl my lashes, tease this, and done. So, I'm just going to pose now for you guys. I feel like it needs it. Right, let me, now let me pose. Okay. I haven't done anything. I haven't done anything. This is what I deal with, everybody. He needs so much attention, it's so sad. Why don't you go to your OnlyFans page to do this? Okay, thank you all so much. So many of you stayed tuned the entire time and I appreciated it. I did feel really anxious and nervous to do this. So thank you all for tuning in. Um, as I said, I'm not a professional. Oh gosh, I had to burn Anything. I'm not a professional. No, I'm not a professional makeup artist. 
but that's just how I do my makeup most days. Sometimes I do it a little different, but that's kind of the basic. I'll do it with different colors, different products, but that's pretty much my main thing. Big eyes, glowy face, nude lips, lately a bright lip. Also, Bad attitude. Bad attitude. So anyway, that's it. Thank you guys for watching. You're beautiful. Can we go? Shut up. I'm so sorry you guys had to see that, children. We will see you all. What? How do I end this? Oh, finish. It never ends. All right. I'll see you guys before today. Bye. Thanks for watching.